Yeah, man, so. What's that, y'all? Live and direct with your boy Baltimore Ben, you feel me? I'm about to, um, I'm about to cook and make some chow mein in a second. I had a real busy day, and, uh, I really don't feel like, I really don't feel like, you know, recording that, to be honest with y'all. Like, it's just, I'm, I don't already showed y'all what the chow mein do, but I, I have a message for y'all, uh, it's something that's really prevalent on my mind right now that I just just because of current things that I'm dealing with in my life. But standing on your word, standing on your word is so important. And I feel like we don't we don't care about it as much as we should. We don't care about standing on our we, we cool with lying to somebody for our benefit. We're cool with saying something to get our way in the moment and then looking back like so what I said that like and I don't want to say we because I'm not cool with that any longer. I'm not I'm not that person any longer, but I feel like the masses, the culture, it's okay to be fake. It's okay to not be solid. It's okay to be a snake. You know, I you hear the slime and all of the things that you're hearing don't, you know, correlate with realness. They're not correlating with being solid. You know what I'm saying? And um standing on your word is so important. And it's especially important in a prison environment like the one I'm in. You know, I, I've heard so many different stories, but let me give y'all one story, for example, that I've heard about an alleged, you know, an alleged uh, killing that transpired at this facility that, that I met. So I heard that it was an inmate that owed another inmate $12. And he went to go get his package, and he's coming back. And the inmate that, that's owed the twelve dollars, he's like, Hey yeah, man, let me just get a little a little honey bun. You know, let me just get a little honey bun and then you know you get the rest to me whenever I know you're trying to eat what's in your package, but just let me get a honey bun. And dude who he asked, I guess he takes it as he's getting pressed, but look man, you owe this man some money, stand on your word, you said you was gonna pay him your past due already. Allegedly. So what ends up happening, he flares up. He's like, what? That's sober with. I'll pay you when I pay you. You feel me? And dude, like, oh, okay, man, forget it then. Fuck that money. We're going to get down. So allegedly, when that happens, they start walking towards the blind spot to get down. And um, I guess dude, you know, he's digging his pants. He grabbed his knife. Dude, that, that, that is owed the $12. Grab his knife. And so the dude that's owing the money, he don't even know what's going on. Dude kind of behind him, allegedly. This is what I heard. And so as they're walking towards the blind spot to get the fight, he reached over and bam, poking one time in the chest. Mind you, as soon as they said something that's going to fight, I heard that dude took his shirt off. Like, he was just, yeah, okay. So he poked him right in the chest, right, bam, went through the ribs, hit his heart, allegedly. And so... When that happened, he tried to get with him, but he realized, oh, I'm stabbed. So he run off to one of his people's cells. He he like, oh, I'm stabbed. I need a knife. But it's too late. He already squirting. He ended up passing out and dying. Less than five minutes after he just told somebody he wasn't going to give him what they was owed because he wasn't standing on his word. Allegedly, that's what I heard had transpired. So in an environment like this, it can get serious. And it's not standing on your word. It can lead to your demise. But... Let's move forward, away from prison. Not standing on your word can lead to so much. No real relationships. Nobody depending on you. You having nobody depends on. You being labeled some black sheep. You being, you know, segregated from the people that you want to be around. Just because you don't stand on your word, everybody abandoning you. Just because you have no morality, you have no solidarity, you're not standing on your word. It gets that serious. And then there's pluses that come with standing on your word. There's pluses, there's benefits, there's things that you can you can always, you know, you can always win and get more by standing on your words. It, it, it just it just it just happens to be that way. And from my experience, you know, when you stand on your word, you don't want for nothing. Because people know that even if he don't got it right now, he told me that he's gonna figure it out. He stands on his word. He's going to make it happen. So if I was to tell somebody right now today, like, man, let me borrow a couple hundred. 
I stand on my word and I've been standing on my word for years, they're going to let me borrow a couple hundred dollars so I can make it to that store. You know, I don't like to do stuff like that, but that that's something that I know will happen because of the simple fact that I stand on my word. You know what I'm saying? Now, if I got a girlfriend, she's most likely going to be the reason I'm going to the store. If I don't got a girlfriend, I might not make the store because I'm not the type of person that likes to borrow money. I like to do that. I like to be a self-sufficient man. It's hard to be that when you're in prison, but I like to be that, and so it feels better. But when you got a girlfriend, you know, she's going to play her role. She's going to love you. She's going to be there for you. You know, as long as you're being there for her and you're playing your role, that's what's going to happen. But standing on your word is so beneficial. Then I, I can ask anybody for, hey, yeah, man, let me get a case of soups. I got you at a store. They know I'm going to go to the store, and I'm going to get them a case of soups because I got history of standing on my word. You know what I'm saying? And it, let's say I was, I don't i don't use any drugs. I'm fully sober. Let's say I was a weed smoker or something. I'm not the type of person that says, hey, let me get a little bit of weed. And they're like, oh, okay, well, make sure you send the money. I'm the type of person that I've been standing on my word for so long. Let me get a little bit of weed. How much you want? I want this much. Okay, here. Here's the shit. Send it right there. All right, it's all good. I get to walk off with weed because I stand on my word. They know if they give it to me, oh, yeah, I give it to Ben. It's good. Ben gonna come right back and, and he gonna go handle his business and I'm gonna have what I got coming because Ben said that's what's going on because I stand on my word. It becomes it becomes almost like a uh, like a security blanket. Me standing on my word makes it to where you can say anything you want about me but I've been standing on my word for so long that people won't even let you say something that's not true. They know what it is with me. And so it becomes that, that, that benefit, that, that way to survive, that way to be somebody that's trustworthy, that way to be dependable, that way to be upstanding. So when people think of me, they're not thinking like, oh, I got to watch out for him. They're thinking like, oh, yeah, he good. Come on. I'm going into doors you can't get into because you're not good. We don't know what you're going to do, but they know I'm going to do exactly what I said I was going to do. And they know that all my intentions are pure and I'm a good guy because I stand on my word. What you were not sure, you haven't been standing on your word. You've been doing a lot of weird things. People don't respect that. People don't want you around because of the way you're acting. You can change today. I, I used to be somebody that didn't stand on my word. You can change today. And if you falter and you mess up, start up again. Start to stand on your word. Start to be truthful. Start to be honest. Start to be worthwhile. Start to be somebody that somebody's thinking about in a positive manner. And I guarantee you things will go better for you. You feel what I'm saying? I've been through so much. I can tell you from the top to the bottom. I know what it's like when you're doing all the wrong things. And I know what it leads to. I'm here right now still. Even after changing my life and trying to do the right things, I'm still here. But I know what happens when you do the right things. I, I, I can tell you how things start to go your way. I can tell you how people start to be there for you. And how real love is starting to be manifested and created because you're doing the right thing. I can tell you about that. I've been there. I've been at the bottom. I've been at the top. I'm headed even higher to the top because I'm always going to stand on my word. I'm always going to tell the truth. I'm always going to be honest. I'm not going to waste your time. I'm not going to waste my time. I'm always going to stand on what I believe in. I'm always going to expect you to stand on what you believe in or you're not going to be around me. That's just been for you. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I'm going to get to cook this little chow mein for me and bro. It's getting a little late. I had a long day. But that's just pressing, man. I, 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 and I'm tired of the culture telling you to be fake. Go rob somebody. Go hurt some man. Go do something positive, man. There's plenty of legal money ways to get some money and be fly and plenty of things you can do that don't have nothing to do with harming anybody. I recommend you take heed and go do some of them instead of just continuing to fall into this trap that they give to us with this music. And, you know, I, I, I just want y'all to understand. It's real easy to do what everybody else is doing. It feel... It feel like, oh, yeah, I got people like we all click. It's a lot hard to do the right thing. But when you do the right thing, the benefit is way longer lasting. And and uh, I just hope that y'all take heed, though. Yeah, man, being out, man, live from that fed. I, I love y'all to death, man, for real.